power never changes. When atomic fire consumed the earth, those who survived did so in great underground vaults. When they opened, their inhabitants set out across the ruins of the old world to build new societies, establishing villages, forming tribes. As decades passed, what had been the American Southwest united beneath the flag of the new California Republic, dedicated to old world values of democracy and the rule of law. As the Republic grew, so did its needs. Scouts spread east, seeking territory and wealth in the dry and merciless expanse of the Mojave Desert. They returned with tales of a city untouched by the warheads that had scorched the rest of the world and a great wall spanning the Colorado River. The NCR mobilized its army and sent it east to occupy Hoover Dam and restore it to working condition. But across the Colorado, another society had arisen under a different flag. A vast army of slaves forged from the conquest of 86 tribes, Caesar's Legion. Four years have passed since the Republic held the dam, just barely, against the Legion's onslaught. The Legion did not retreat. Across the river, it gathers strength. Campfires burn, training drums beat. Through it all, the New Vegas Strip has stayed open for business under the control of its mysterious overseer, Mr. House, and his army of rehabilitated tribals and police robots. You are a courier, hired by the Mojave Express to deliver a package to the New Vegas Strip. What seemed like a simple delivery job has taken a turn for the worse. You got what you were after. So pay up. You're crying in the rain, Pally. <laughs> Guess who's waking up over here? Time to cash out. Will you get it over with? Maybe cons kill people without looking them in the face. But I ain't a fink. Dig? You've made your last delivery, kid. Sorry you got twisted up in this scene. From where you're kneeling must seem like an 18 karat run of bad luck. Truth is, the game was rigged from the start. days now. Why don't you just relax a second? Get your bearings. Let's see what the damage is. How about your name? Can you tell me your name? what I'd have picked for you, but if that's your name, that's your name. I'm Doc Mitchell. Welcome to Good Springs. Now, I hope you don't mind, but I had to go rooting around there in your noggin to pull all the bits of lead out. I take pride in my needlework, but you'd better tell me if I left anything out of place. How'd I do? Well, I got 
most of it right anyway. Stuff that mattered. Okay. No sense keeping you in bed anymore. Let's see if we can get you on your feet. Good. Why don't you walk down to the end of the room? Over by that vigor tester machine there. Take it slow now. It ain't a race. Ooh, looking good so far. Go ahead and give the vigor tester a try. We'll learn right quick if you get back all your faculties. done your brain some good. Well, we know your vitals are good, but that don't mean them bullets didn't leave you nuttered in a bighorn or dropping. What do you say you take a seat in my couch and we go through a couple of questions? See if your dogs are still barking. All right. I'm gonna say a word. I want you to say the first thing that comes to mind. Dog. Before I turn you loose, I need one more thing from you. I got a form for you to fill out so I can get a sense of your medical history. Just a formality. Ain't like I expect to find you got a family history of getting shot in the head. That about does it. Come with me, I'll see you out. Here, these are yours. I hope you don't mind, but I gave the note a look. I thought it might help me find a name. Well, if you're heading back, they call it a pip boy. I grew up in one of them vaults. Ain't much use to me now, but you might want such a th And put this on too, so the local. Uh, you should talk. I expect you'll be one.
Of course. You've been through a lot. Of course. You've been through a lot. Partner? You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. If you're hurting, can. Thanks. Cheyenne, stay. Don't worry, she won't. Yeah, meet me outside. See the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Take this and try to hit a couple of them. That's the right idea. Look, try crouching down and staying. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't re Tell you what. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast.
Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. of it. There's two more wells that still need Shouldn't take. Come with me. come here like you done I'd be a goner for sure I came up here to draw water but here Now that was some good work. Here's a little spending money for the t One more thing I wanted to show. Thought I might teach you about living. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Let me think now. I know I've seen bro- Bring those on back to me.
Let me see what you got. All right now. Go on over to that camp. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or... Well, I hope that's enough to get... I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never... Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes... She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Hello? Can you help me? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please. Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. You will? Thank you.
Sorry I tricked you. But thanks for clearing out the geckos. Now I can get to that stash up there. Hey there. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. Not much, other than there are a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident. They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to... That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be. I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking... Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people are... 
sure the outside looks okay, but I think something there'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the. They were having. Sound Feeling thirsty? I can take care of it. Yeah, I heard it turn right back on after you got done tinkering with it. You're welcome. That's close enough. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of... Yeah. He doesn't look very tough, though. I hear he's afraid I'll shoot him down from one of the windows when I see him. And he's right. I'll have a much bigger problem once his friends show up. There's no way I could handle all of them in a gunfight. I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can, assuming the town doesn't throw me to the wolves. I've got no chance against the gang on my own. We'd just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Start with Sunny Smiles. She's been... Hi there, sticking around good spring. Say no more. I'm in. Joe Cobb talks about leaving us alone if we hand over Ringo, but I know his type. He and his friends will come after the town. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks... I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a shipment of leather armor we could buy. Finally, there's a good chance we'll all end up with extra holes in us. So if Doc Mitchell could... So you're planning on taking on Joe Cobb's gang. It's a big risk, but I suppose you have to do what you think is... I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can... While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. A general...
Welcome back. I had hoped you wouldn't need to come. Seems like wherever I go, it's always the same. Folks just... Oh, I'm not much good in a fight with my bum leg. And my supplies are... I ain't got much, but it'll do you more good out there. So what's going on? Well, I guess that means we're ready to go. Unless... All right, I'm ready. Time to look alive. The Powder Gangers are here to play. At least six. Joe Cobb included. I'll be set up new... I owe you a huge favor for this. Here, these are tech... I'll stick around for a bit longer, but I'll be gone in a few days. If you ever visit New Vegas, look... Howdy. That was a hell of a fight.
Another satisfied customer. That'll teach the Powder Gangs to avoid good springs in the future. Sure can. Take the road southeast out of town till it hits the freeway. Prim is the town with the roller coasters. NCR patrols do a good job. Off the road, you'll probably start running into hostile wildlife. My advice would be to stick to the highway. Not in good springs, no. But if you're up for a little scavenging, most of what's in there is junk, but if you want to take a shot at it, Well, go ahead and keep the stuff I gave you in. I'm glad that business is over. I like it. When